So basically, once the pads uh, like run out, and then you're gonna be the rotors uh, gonna be metal to metal, and you're gonna damage the rotors. But this one here, we actually save it in time, even though it's a thin pad, and it did not touch the uh, rotors yet. As you can see, the road is pretty smooth still, and why we replace it is still good. Save some money, retain the rotors, and just replace the pads. So that way it will not chew up the rotors next time. As you can see, um, the, uh, the, the rotors are actually still good. So what I'm doing is going to push the piston back in. Now we're going to um, remove the uh, brake fluid uh, reservoir cap. That's right under the hood. Just open the cap for the reservoir. Oh, I think this needs some um, fluid in there also. You can see if you have a uh, caliper um, pressing tool, use it. And if you don't have it, we act you actually can use the C-clamp but it's a little hotter, so that's what I'm doing. It's using the um, caliper pressing tool. So we have, I would recommend you invest in one. It's not bad for your whole set. So basically what I'm doing is um, I'm pressing the piston in, so the, the fluid should be going through the reservoir. That's why we open up the, the cap from the, res the reservoir cap. Just push it in slowly, keep turning it. The reason I'm putting this is uh, because um, I'm actually putting a new pad in. It's been very thick, so it, this will not will block in it, the, the piston. So we're pushing it in so that way it's, you can put in the new um, brake pads. I think we're looking good here, and we should be fine. There you go. You can see it's all pushed in. We got the new pads. Uh, part number is NAD465A for the front um, three pads. You can see the thickness of the pads right there, and there's an indicator to be inside, and the one without the indicator it can be the outside one. So you always just slide right in, doing the outer side one first, snap it in, then go the inside. That's it, perfect right there. So once you put the uh, pad in the slot and you want to pull on the um, caliper back to the position. And there you go. That's a perfect fit. That's why the reason why we put um, push in the piston so that way it fit. And you put the bolt back in. Do all your hand first before you use the socket. The socket is, uh, let me see, it was, um, i to tell you that, sorry about that. The socket um, 12 millimeter. Okay, give it your hand. Now tighten with your, with the socket. Go. Make sure you don't strip it though, not really tight. Tight enough. Okay, that's it. As you can see, this uh, this job here we actually uh, it was easy because the um, the bolt is pretty. We only need to take one bolt and we just lift it up. Sometimes because it's um it's an older car, it will be rusted, so I can't really lift it up at all. So I have to remove um the lower bolt and the top bolt, so the whole car comes out. But this one is not bad because it's a fairly new car. And that's it for that one. Pretty tight. So once you are um, 
install the caliper, pull back the caliper with the bolt. And uh, what you want to do is um, you want to start the car and straighten the wheels out so it's straightforward. And then I would like to uh, install the wheels back on. So that's be easier for me. So basically, uh, what I did earlier was um, I had to like slanted the wheels a little bit so I have a better access to it. So um, that's what I'm doing now. I gotta put it back straight so I put the wheels back on. Okay. Back on. Okay. Take the wheel back. No. Stop. Mm -hmm. I'll put it back in first. Thank you for watching Tech Tower T. That is how you do 2007 um, Honda Civics front brakes. Thank you. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you to Tech Tower T for changing my brakes. Katrina, take one action. Thank you for. Wait, sorry. <laughs> what? Cut.